Everything here: vegetables, yeah. uh, fish, yeah. meat, spices. spices exactly. Uh, we will go right now in the market, the last old market in Marrakesh. And this is the place where the locals come. Yeah, 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 for for uh, Marrakesh uh, people. But Mohar is no typical Marrakeshi. He's reinvented Moroccan food and cooked for royalty and Hollywood stars. Everybody asks the question: How they do that? It's really, really easy, no, like a snow worried. with colors. You're crazy, you know. He was going to teach me to make one of his favorite dishes. I love to touch. When you touch, you 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 control the quality. After he taught me to shop. I love oh. the taste. Mm. What are the main ones that you buy? Cumin, paprika, and saffron. I will show you the best paprika of the world. Red, really red paprika. <laughs> Bless you. We'd be making a tagine or slow cooked stew. And I was about to meet the main ingredient. Okay, I will buy your chicken for you. <laughs> My heart is still you alive. Let me get this right. You chicken and he slaughtered in front of you. Yes. Oh, wow. That's why the chicken don't suffer. Here's your chicken. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> oh, look at yeah. that. I love thank my you. Head, huh? Yeah, thank you. Damo Ha has become one of Morocco's top restaurants. Here we go. Thanks to this Swiss trained chef's innovation, turning Morocco's traditional heavy dishes into nouvelle cuisine. Somebody say he's crazy, he's changing the, the Moroccan kitchen that we're, and we are traditional people. Be careful with your fingers. I know. Right. The traditional kitchen, I, I will not steal it or yeah. change it. He's just updating it with the help of an old friend. Do you remember our chicken that we buy? <laughs> she was very cute. She had black cute and feathers. Uh, this one we will prepare it of the tagine, traditional Moroccan. For in the uh, Moroccan kitchen, you have to fill your aliment, you know? Persian and coriander. Yeah. Garlic, white pepper. Uh, uh, pepper, ginger. That's ground ginger, yeah? And a little bit of saffron. Beautiful. Right now, we will pour some lemon, onions, a little bit water. I try to keep the same taste of the, the Moroccan kitchen, just less the ingredient. I put so water. much water and it's lazy. Come on, like, light, uh, like light, light, yeah. exactly. Yeah. One more, please. Okay. Oh yeah. wow! Gabriel is hot. Mm. That's a miracle. Thank you. Did you learn something? Yeah. Yes. I learned to put water in my tagine. This one is ready for tonight. Next, we headed out of Marrakesh. Deep into the country. <laughs> but reality soon intruded as we were fined for our wing mirrors. Our destination, the Esawira region, where the unique argan tree grows. And a village that's keeping alive an ancient Berber tradition. Away from me. <laughs> What's that? And we were late for our guide, the mayor. May I say, they are the best cowboy boots I've ever seen. Like the Moroccan people say, please help yourself. My you can have them. <laughs> This is a typical Moroccan Berber village. Yep. The inhabitants of Morocco originally were Berber. As mayor of nearby Essaouira, Asma runs a tolerant city where hippies flocked in the 60s. Masana. 
So you are the first female mayor in all of Morocco. Yeah, first You survived. Thing. But it's challenging. <laughs> you survived. I'm surviving. It's challenging. I'm surviving. <laughs> but it's challenging, isn't it? I love challenges. That's right. <laughs> right. Why did you want to be a politician? I think, and I believe very much, we all have to help our country. We don't have any, uh, I would say, natural resources. What we do have, it's the human potential that Morocco has. Asma wanted me to see a co-op where women are fulfilling that potential. This is Imintlit, Argan Oil Cooperative. Salam alaikum. For hundreds of years, the Berber women have been extracting argan oil by hand. Ask her how she manages not to hit her fingers. Give us a look at the She knows how to avoid uh, breaking our sleeves. When private firms mechanized production, the Berbers lost nearly all their income from this unique oil that retails for up to $100 a litre. I hear it's good for wrinkles. Yes. Really? Yes, or it's really. I, I am sure. Whether you eat it or you... Just no, no, just put it in the, in the, in the, in the, skin, in the, the skin. skin. Yeah? Wrinkles will it's, disappear. It's disappear. Wow. Look at your beauty. Your <laughs> Now they sell their argan products to shops around the world. So they've roasted those nuts to bring out the flavour, haven't they? And the co-op puts the women in control. Is it making family life easier? She said, she said, <laughs> yeah, she said that it helps, for example, when her girls need something. She can help her, she can give her some money. Women earning a wage is a huge change for a village like this. What has it meant for, for the men of the community? He said it's okay, it's good. Yeah, he said it's good for, for her to work and to, to produce something and not to stay at home. And they are open minded. And to, just to consume. Mentalities change. This is what I really want to say. Years ago, he wouldn't allow them. A daughter or a, a, a wife, today she's got her own wages. I think women today in Morocco understood that she's got the same right as men. Zineb's daughter's birthday party awaited us in Marrakesh, but we couldn't leave before the women had said goodbye. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> and our sound man. Goodbye. <laughs> the party was in Marrakesh's new town. We had to hide in the kitchen with the music so loud outside. So it goes again. <laughs> so tell me about a Moroccan party. People listen to loud music, yeah. forget about their daily lives for the sake of the moment, and that's all. Home parties are a big part of Moroccan social lives. As family and hospitality are deeply valued. How are you? Never eat to share the happiness with Rima. Seventh birthday, Zineb and husband Francois had invited their friends and family to celebrate with a feast of meat stew. <laughs> so when you guys are doing this, have that sound of oh, no, that I called? mean, what's that called? It's a Marachi way of, I mean, celebrating events. You have to follow certain rhythm. But the rhythm was about to change with the arriving Ganawa van. Ganawa music was brought to Morocco in the 11th century by West African slaves. Its ancient rhythms are designed to induce a religious trance, but it's also a favorite for Marakshi parties. So we've come to the end of the night with our mint tea. Last time, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm so, I'm so glad that I had the experience with you. It was wonderful. So thank you so much. And thank you, you Zineb. madam. Our Zineb, thank our Zineb. crazy Zineb. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Amanda. Uh, this well, is it. So, uh, isn't it? I'm going to see you on the dance floor in two minutes. No. So finish no your way. Tea.